Okay, this is just quick and dirty for uh, making a body and clothing work together. So, I'm just going to add a cylinder here. And yeah, it said my settings. You can see I've already done this once. So, I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm just going to create some edge loops so that the cylinder is able to move with an armature. That's going to be our body. And I'm going to duplicate that, drag it off to the side for now, um, scale it a bit because I want it to be, I want it to lay over the body, and I want you to be able to see what's going on. So we'll just scale it out like that, and I'm going to give it a different material so it looks slightly different, and you can see what's going on once everything's parented. I come back over here, and I'm going to add a bone for our armature, and. I'm going to drag it down so it's going to be, that'll be the bottom half. And I'm going to tab into edit mode and extrude to create another bone so that uh, our body has two bones. So that's uh, basically a quick and dirty body and an armature for our body. So I'm going to select the body and then I'm going to shift right click to select the armature. Control P to parent with automatic weights. And so then if I select my body again, you'll see that it's created a weight group for each bone. And if we go into weight mode, you'll see that it's eh, done pretty decent weights for what we want to do here for each bone. So we'll go back into object mode and I'm going to select the armature and I'm going to go into pose mode. As uh, Z, so I can see to select the other, the other bone, and now I'm going to rotate that bone, and you can see our body is moving with the armature. Can do a little dance here. So that's really all you have to do there uh, for a quick and dirty. So now I'm going to select the clothing. Pretend it's clothing, okay? It's a nice, uh, I don't know, brawn panty set or whatever. So I'm going to drag that over so it lays over our body, as you would expect. So with that selected, if I shift right click, whoops, and stop that, and select the body, and I control P and try to parent, you can see I don't have an option for weights here. So let's select the body and shift right click the armature itself, control P, and now you've got weighting options, and I'm just going to select with automatic weights. So now you, if you look at the if you look at the clothing and you can see it's created the bone groups and if you go into weight paint mode you can see that it's weighted both of those groups and that's on the clothing. So we'll go back into object mode and select the armature and threw it right through us right back into pose mode. Uh, Z so I can see through and select the other bone. And R on the Y and you can see everything's moving very nicely together. That's really all there is to it.